we, we really wanted that yesterday. Uh, didn't make no bones about that. We wanted to, to have the champions of the New South Wales Criterion, but crafty today, how cool is this? We're a pro in the Oh, no. Uh... That might be a little bit clickbaity. I'll, I'll give you that. Well, it isn't. It isn't. Like, well, we did actually beat the pro, but the how-to part is a bit. Cool. Anyway, no. Just before we get started today, guys, look, I really do want to thank Lockie Morton for coming down. So, just to let you guys know, on Sunday we had a state race the day after New South Wales Crit Championships, a state race at Heffron Park, and lo and behold, Lockie Morton of EF education drag pack just like raced the race which is and i've mentioned this on instagram like it's such an awesome part of our sport that, that kind of stuff happens i will say this though like you know chris Froome, peter sagana stuff will do those kind of big groupy ride things and latapi stuff they're getting paid to do that right don't be under any illusion Lockie Morton just sort of turned up and raced. Now, I reckon he was probably bullied a little bit by the president of New South Wales Cycling to do it. Well done, Graham Sears. Kind of came away empty handed. I don't think anyone even bought him a coffee. So, like, that's pretty cool, I reckon. So, hats off to you, Lockie. Anyway, had we beat you? No. So, guys, what I thought we'd do today is, well, with a lot of this tactic stuff that you guys are asking me, I get the sense that you're kind of waiting for me to unload this like golden nugget of info or this this one tactical moment that's going to unlock racing for all of us it doesn't really exist some of us are not willing to to push ourselves to those limits to actually break a race up and to to dictate the race on our own terms and i think there's going to be something in that for all of us anyway let's get into the race and check it out Okay, let's get the show on the road. The bottom screen is Jesse Coyle, his power data. The top screen is the front facing camera on my bike with my power data. Guys, the, the, the map there on the right, that is the map of Heffron. I do want to point something out. So the wind here is coming, a headwind on the straight. So you can see the arrow there that I've got showing. That is the direction of the wind. And that's important because you'll, you'll see here from where the moments that are being strung out, and we're attacking tend to be, well, relative to what the wind is doing. So there's Mr. Lockie Morton himself amongst another really good, well, strong field. So the first bit that I really want to show you guys is we are less than two laps in. So it's been a super hard start as these races tend to be. We're going to hit the straight, which as you can see here is a headwind. And I want you guys just to get a little bit of an idea of the nature of this race. So you can kind of see from Jesse's camera, the, the bottom camera, he's hopefully going to swing out in a minute and you will see there that it is strung out. And as you guys know from like lots watching bike racing on TV and all that kind of stuff, when it's single file like that, it means it is super strung out. Now me, I'm on the top screen and I'm getting quite a good sit. You probably noticed on that rundown that my power numbers were a lot lower than everyone else's because I was getting a really good sit. I'm hurting, I'm definitely fatigued after that straight, but a really good opportunity to attack, which you're gonna see on the top screen there, myself going hard. And the reason I wanna show this, guys, is yeah, look, the timing of that attack is borderline perfect, actually, if I'm gonna give myself a wrap. But what I wanna show is, well, almost my level of commitment, which was 80%. It wasn't It wasn't a really fully hard committed attack, which might have actually been the reason this didn't work. So I'm gonna bridge across to the one guy up the road here, Will Hodges, and you know, I'm not gonna muck around, I'm not gonna sit on his wheel, I'm gonna go straight through to the front and do my turn. I, I'm really fully committed, well, you know, I'm thinking that I'm fully committed to this sort of, this attack, because there's Lockie. Lockie attacking there, on Jesse's camera and you can see immediately everyone just absolutely getting on. So I can actually remember Will saying to me while we were just in that little space off the front, just sort of saying, Will, um, Lockie's bridging across to us, Lockie's bridging across to us. Speaking of attacks, straight over the top of Lockie Morton, as soon as he finished, Jesse attacks. Now that wasn't a predefined thing or anything in a team chat. It just so happens that, you know, he's stringing the field out and it's a really good opportunity to go straight after. And look at this level of commitment from Jesse here. He's gone straight over the top of it, over the pimple, and he's gonna fly through this corner here. And once again, guys, there's no sit up here. There's no, there's no backing off the power. 
it's going straight into it. So again, here you are up. Uh, myself and Will are still the front of the race. They're still going, and Jesse is giving it full gas with Jack on his wheel there. And they are actually going to bridge across. Now, keep an eye on Jesse's camera here, okay? So there's, there's a good split happening here. Will comes through to take his turn. Jesse straight through to take his turn. So again, there's no there's no let off here. There's no uh, there's no sitting on, but strong field. You can see behind Tom Bolton bringing that back, and the field is going to come back together. Really, the nature of these races a lot of the time is just full gas, and and you can see it here. Like Jesse's on the front. He knows that you know the bunch is probably coming back here but he's gonna continue to ride hard. You guys are gonna love this bit, okay? This is the bit I really wanted to show. Again, here we are, down the straight. Jesse, full gas, single file. Look, you can see in my camera up the top there, there are splits starting to happen. Don't drop that wheel, Aaron. There are splits happening. There are guys going back. It is hard, but it hasn't been you know, one attack or anything. It's just been really, really hard racing. Lockie was on the front there. What does that mean? Well, it means Jesse is going to attack. He's attacking over the top of it being really, really hard racing. And that comes back to that thing of full commitment. Now let's watch this, guys. This is really, really good to watch because you can get to see it from both angles, okay? Now, Jesse's on the front. Will's on his wheel. This is full, full commitment. Compare that to when I attacked and I was flicking my elbow and you know all the rest of it. Because two things going on here, right? Jesse is going full gas. We're going to pay attention to that. But I also want you to pay attention to my camera. Now, I'm not going to weld this or anything, but I want to get across to this. I'm not making any bones about it. What I need to do is I need to find the right wheel, the right attack that is going to take me across to it. And we're going to continue to follow this full commitment. There's Lockie's attack, okay? Now, one, two, three, four, five guys have gone with Lockie's attack. So I don't have to react immediately to that. Jordan, Jordan Louie there re reacts to it. Now, here we go, guys. This is what I really, really want you to see. So we're coming down the straight now. Uh, Lockie Morton is fully on the front. So you will see me. But remember, the straight is a headwind. So look at my watts. You know, I mean, that's a good sit. I don't really want to be in this position. Fifth wheel is kind of too far up. If someone's going to bridge across to this, they're going to come from behind me and they're going to come from speed. And their name is probably going to be Luke Cridlin. There he goes, on the grass. What was the thing Jesse said to me the other day? You got to be on his wheel. So unfortunately, terribly positioned, but I am going to jump. And I'm with two advantages there. Um, I, I had a sense he was coming and also Jay didn't follow it. He dropped my wheel, which meant that I did not weld the bunch. So I'm going, I'm full gas. Now watch my camera closing in on them. And you can see Jesse's camera there. You just saw a little white helmet shooting across with a little gap to the bunch. Guys, Jesse has literally been on the front of this the whole time. He is fully committed. Okay, there are five guys here, but what does Jesse do? Does he look around? Does he turn around and see five guys? He's been on the front for two laps almost. Does he turn around and go, right, flick the elbow, let's see what else anyone else has got? No. He does almost 600, 700 watts down the straight into a headwind. And we get a good solid play phrase from Will. Uh, and, you know, I'm doing 600 watts sitting in the wheel because it's slightly cross here at the moment and I'm fatigued and I'm, you know, I'm not concentrating, not getting a good sit. Chris Ball's there as we come down and we don't see him really flick the elbow till now, okay? And I'm, I'm talking about pain faces. Well, wait till you see this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, do I go straight through and do a turn? Hell no. No, so I've uh, having breached across there and then really not getting a great sit, I'm gonna skip that turn. But that just showed full commitment, guys. Full, full commitment. And that five rider break stays away to an extent and Jesse then solos from that bunch. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your friends.
So in conclusion, just ride 700 watts for ages and uh, you seemingly get away. Now look, obviously that would be wonderful to be that fit and strong to do, but look, I think the takeaway guys, and, and we get sort of this comment a lot from people just starting out in racing is like, I got in a move, but no one really wanted to ride. Well, sometimes, sometimes guys, you've just got to take it upon yourselves to do that. If you're going to show that level of commitment in a move, then the other guys will sort of feed off that. Dan uses this analogy, like you've got to be willing to lose a race to win it. And sometimes that's going to be in the first 10 to 12 minutes. I certainly learned quite a bit watching that. And I think that's going to maybe affect the way I race in the next 12 months. Hopefully you see me DNF a few races. I think that's got to be one of my goals for the next 12 months, instead of, you know, just that 80% sort of effort. But yeah, it would be really nice to just ride 700 points like that and be able to do that kind of thing. I really, really hope you enjoyed that. You're not going to get an end screen from me today. You are not going to get a sign off from me. You are going to get a sign off from the man himself. Race videos. So, you know, you've watched enough YouTube. Have I? Oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click here to watch more race videos and click here for Chris Miller's latest review. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez, I've sold out. <laughs>